Hello and back to No One Plays The Mongol Race the World campaign. For we absolutely don't want any provinces above 10 development left in the world. At least if we can do anything about it. But keep them as low development as possible. The estate. Do you have me some new warriors? No, you do not. Don't really like how much of an influence level they have, though. It's way too high. The Timtims want me to aid them, sure. Sure thing. Sure fucking thing. Not like I need to do anything here. What's the conquest anyways? Sins. <laughs> oh poor. A little bastards. No, oh, in five years my truce with Ming ends. Oh, how special. Oh shit. Let's destroy the forts. Fuck you forts, we don't need to pay for you. Much better. Just absolutely no. Getting their loyalty up is not that hard. But getting anything useful out of them is pretty difficult. believe that we're still losing money. Oh yeah, that's right. Get converted. Mm-mm-mm. Eventually, maybe, just maybe the Shinto religion will actually get over here, or we'll get over there. It's a good opportunity for us. Also, we'll certainly go and become a maritime horde. Just a matter of time. So 1.73, that means we have about 340 development. Yep. So for every 100 development, you lose one horde unity per year. It's not that bad. It only really gets bad if you stay at peace for too long. And that can be remedied. With things like a quick attack over here, for example. Uh, 
I think my main goal is to take over Ming and have there be nothing left of their former glory. I don't want any more of my land converting. I learned my lesson. But I will take some more Vajrayana land, if it is very cheap to take, which this certainly constitutes cheap. to dig. Dig! Also, military cap! Oh, what will we ever do? I might actually do some development here. Oh shit! Shouldn't have developed that. Be awful! Might actually have to the capital. We might actually have to, you know, lower it and give up the capital and then destroy it. What a hoard thing to do. <laughs> That's actually kind of um kind of worried that they would come over here into Utsang, but apparently not. Doesn't look like they're gonna be able to. <laughs> what up, Dubengal? Well, obviously Orissa ate it. Is there anything interesting going on? Well, Muscovy is still pretty huge. Also, another thing that they actually stopped in this patch is, actually, is vassal feeding um, of union partners and such. Like, you know how you could take over half the world with Poland Lithuania by just... Or you could t take over the world with Poland Lithuania by staying Poland for essentially ever, maybe eating Europe and making Lithuania eat all of, you know, this land. And they would essentially have no liberty desire because they were um, loyal to you and they were your historical friend. But that changed. Now you can only feed them, what is it? Five provinces or so. I wonder if there's going to be a an actual notification though. Because if there's not, that could be really infuriating. Well, now you have to integrate them. Tough shit. They grew five provinces too much. Well, depends for which one. Uh, like soon, because I think Scotland it's five. It's not the same number for each and every single nation. That's that's what I'm saying. So I wasn't quite sure which one had which, but it would it would probably be um, reasonable that Lithuania would be ten since they're already that large. Give me 
Money, give me all of your land. Glorious Mongolia is glorious. Also, get me warriors. What? Oh wait, that's because of... Yeah, we took more land again. I mean, to me, these estates are essentially nothing more. It's not even like peacetime thing, it's another addition to post-war things that you need to do. Where you need to pause and then do the things. For example, autonomy. It's just another post-war thing that you need to do. Raise autonomy everywhere that you just took. Yeah, voila. Don't have much problems, or not many problems. Same here. the fact that we get every 10 years we get 33% of our manpower back it's like a manpower rebate and Japan holy shit Japan of all the people, Japan! Oh, so that's a large amount of rebels. Fuck you. Pretty sure I didn't forget to. Nope, autonomy was increased. Oh boy, how fun. Where's this button? Button. There we go. I also think that maybe upping my stability by one could be advantageous enough to do. Oh, I see. Wait, never mind, that was Korea, not Japan. Thinking that maybe Japan sponsored them, that's why they were so fierce, but nah. 
That was just conspiracy right there. Japan does, however, cock block me. By virtue of not allowing me to attack Japan freely. Oh, not Japan. Ming freely. So I may or may not have to go and eat stuff further west. To the west we go. <laughs> the red dot, yes. That is Beijing. It's for a good reason still, red. <laughs> because I need to reduce its development until I can take it. Huh. I actually defeated the Wing Ming army, that's kinda cool. Um... Some military points capped again. And three minutes left for this episode. Three minutes left for the episode. And I should really step up my commentary again, so I might just go ahead and then end this campaign and go for another one. For example, play European country. Stream exclusive, of course. <laughs> because I already have a plenty of footage here for our wonderful YouTube campaign, as you probably have noticed. This is episode 1,010. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is episode 14. Holy crap. I recorded an entire week of this campaign. Already in one day. It's kind of great. Mongolia are yours. <laughs> oh, poor Tim Tims. They're still my ally. Nope, they broke that line. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I broke their other lines because they were attacked. Yep, yep, great memories. So, Chakatai is next on the menu, uh, but that will be next week, well, maybe the day after tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm gonna play something else, well, not something else, I'm gonna play some more U4, but I'll be playing another nation, to be sure. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Mongol action of taking Central Asia. Oh yeah.
Oh, we'll be starting to move west and just take everything. Though, to be fair, there's slim pickings here because development is just complete and utter shite. So, raising doesn't actually help us much. You know, provinces like Beijing are a godsend where they have huge development, so we just give it back. But every time we conquer it, we make a huge amount of m power. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.